Early photography was not merely a more accurate or faster form of painting. It was a revolution in the ability to shape and reshape social perceptions and beliefs. And social reformers used cameras as a tool to further their causes. Frederick Douglass, a fierce advocate for the abolition of slavery in the United States, used photography as a means of persuasion. Having escaped enslavement himself, in the 1840s and 50s, Douglas sat for hundreds of photographic portraits, becoming one of the most recognizable Americans of the 19th century. Douglas spread his own image to combat the pervasive racist imagery of African Americans. Celeste Marie Bernier, who wrote a biography of Douglas, explains that, for Douglas, photography was the lifeblood of being able to be seen and not caricatured, to be represented and not grotesque, to be seen as fully human and not as an object or chattel to be bought and sold. Common images of black Americans in the 1800s, slave and free alike, were often crude and dehumanizing drawings or paintings. Through photography, Douglas and other abolitionists forced Americans to confront the basic humanity of the enslaved while also seeing the depravity of slavery. Photographs of Douglas and other black activists created the beginning of a new reality where black Americans could be portrayed with dignity and humanity rather than by their racist imaginations of the dominant white society. Douglas loved photography and wrote essays and gave speeches on the topic. In a lecture to a Boston audience in 1861, he remarked, Poets, prophets, and reformers are all picture makers, and this ability is the secret of their power and achievements. They see what ought to be by the reflection of what is, and endeavor to remove the contradiction.